Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, and we do that uh, for your listening pleasure. we got nearly 1,200 of these available for your listening pleasure. We continue to add to that on a regular basis. This is kind of the continuation of our trauma series. Um, certainly, if you've gone through trauma and know someone who has, then ultimately, uh, certainly I encourage you to reach out for a series of help with a coach, a counselor, uh, a, a psychological professional, mental health professional, or a team of people. Multiple viewpoints is usually how I recommend people to work through things. The first thing that is a sign of trauma is inability to focus, and so many times people struggle in that area not because they're unintelligent, not because they're unhealthy, not because they're a bad person, but because at the end of the day, this this inability to focus is directly related to um, feeling as though nothing is ever going to go right for them. Again, a, a person who is going through the need for trauma recovery, please feel free to reach out. There's a couple ways you can do that. At PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. The next thing to consider is um, a person that's been through trauma is always looking for or prepared for something that's going to hurt them. So they're waiting for more trauma. They're waiting for someone to say something or do something that's hurtful emotionally, that's going to lead them down a path they don't want to go. They're waiting for something to fall out. They're waiting for something to fall apart. And ultimately that works against them because that expectation makes them more cautious and and less open to new ideas it makes social interaction harder it makes a, a expression of emotion more difficult and so there's lots of challenges there the next thing is no help when a person feels like they have been through a bunch of trauma they won't seek the help they need but also they also may not believe that help help exists for them in a healthy way so they're they're fearing judgment they're looking for someone to not understand them, and thus they feel like an outsider, ostracized, an outcast, and ultimately as though uh, nothing will ever change for them. So they remain within a mind cycle that is unhealthy, counterproductive, and oftentimes it may even be in a, in a alignment with something that is almost going in a direction that's circular and cyclical, without them even realizing that they're in the middle of a cycle that doesn't serve them well, but also they're in the middle of a cycle that they don't feel they can get out of. So when a person doesn't have the belief that they can get out of a situation, that means they become more hopeless. Now, a hopeless person is going to act quicker because anything that feels in a moment like it could make things better seems like a better alternative than what they've gone through, and thus they will act quickly and oftentimes not in their, best, in their own best interest. It doesn't necessarily mean they're an unintelligent person. It doesn't mean they're an unhealthy person, but it does mean they're an unbalanced person. W not having the hope also makes them more prone to depression, anxiety, panic disorders, and other mental health issues. This is because their self-esteem and their view that they deserve to be happy and healthy and, and live well is ultimately extremely limited and that becomes problematic. And so hopefully, uh, if you're dealing with all of this, you can get the help you need as quickly as possible. The longer trauma remains untreated, the longer it is that, that, that someone going through trauma is going to struggle with the same issues. Also, the longer they're going to feel out of balance and the longer they're going to connect with feeling just like, hey, this isn't working for me, or hey, I'm not getting where I need to be out of things. And so that it continues to be uh, potentially unhealthy, potentially frustrating, and ultimately leads in directions that many people don't want to go or feel that if they go, they're going to lose power. Again, disempowerment is another aspect that, that trauma creates. A person who has been through lots of trauma believes that they are always going to lose, they're always going to be less than another person, and ultimately that struggle is a mind struggle that continues to perpetuate itself, partially because of uh, implication, partially because they just don't necessarily feel they can ever get 
to a healthy, intelligent place. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.